Hello there world, thanks people and anyone who's following my uh, YouTube channel and or blog. It's Jusuchin, also known as uh, Lorenzo Ruiz and the World Tanks game in both North America and Southeast Asia. I've yet to go into Europe because I don't exactly want to. Anyways, here I am um, running my Centurion Mark 1. Uh, I've obtained this thing and I've had around 100 battles in it already, which is okay. I tend to bounce a lot in, in between tanks and whatnot. Um, the skin is by Tenora Taiga from uh, Southeast Asia, featuring Lynette Bishop. And here we go. Uh, I decided not to start recording my replays. I just get a battle, and if I liked it, I I uh, do this. If not, whatever. Anyways, we're at airfield, middle tier, so my role here is support. Now, the camo does mess up with the with with the skin, but it's fitting. And besides, I'm the only one seeing it, anyways. Anyone else just sees the camo doubt since you're in Mark One. Also, I have Jack's uh, updated. Girls and Panzer uh, music mod, and I also have Hippo Team the, for the voice mod. If anyone's asking, I shall post the link in the description. Anyways, uh, in this battle, I I knew I wasn't gonna pierce the sides of most of the high tier tanks. Well, I would, but still, it's but. Uh, Centurion series is basically what I would think of as the Panther series or the Tiger. There are snipers. They can brawl, but highly unrecommended. So I take this spot. Kind of predictable spot. I plan to move after being spotted, so I just stay here for a bit. I swear I'm looking at the enemies and not the skin on my tank. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! Party! Okay, okay. Forward. Here we go. Unlike an American tank, like an American heavy, I do not have a very nice frontal armor. So, hold down as best and getting hit in the turret sucks. Once again, like I said, I'm on the support role this entire time. I don't normally do the push unless I'm way on top and I have support, basically. I'm just blabbering on. I just got off work few, not even hour, like several hours ago and I haven't slept yet. I'm making shit shots, that's gonna cost me. There's that weird SD1 tank thing. Hell, I don't even know what it is, I just go by, oh hey, it's a heavy. It's that tank. I cannot pierce the front reliably. Granted, I have not encountered those tanks often. And the whole year I played, well, in the five-ish months of playing in the higher tiers, I've only encountered these tanks, I don't know, once every 20 games. I don't know why. I guess it's not that popular. Then again, I haven't... It, it takes uh, daily doubles for me to see another Centurion, so goes to show you maybe they don't like tanks or whatever. The higher tiers, 7, seven rounds, uh, a 7.5 second reload is freaking fast. Unless you're an auto loader and that, well they're just asses. I honestly thought we were going to lose this at this point, but then again. I'm being focused on by that tier 9, the tier 8, and the RE. So. Now 
Now, I'm gonna do something stupid. You see, I, I thought I could, uh, pierce it from the back and get an Amorak. Guess how many times I tried to do this? Yeah, that's red. That's green. That's red. Nope. Nope. It moved the moment I shot. So, what do you know? That could have been a very easy kill for me, but I decided to be a little, uh, scaredy cat. 200. 200 damage. We'll take that out. I don't need to track it. It sucks. I would like that kill. A miss. Oh! That's a near miss. It's dead. I decided to go out and put it. Now, I've had fun with the entire British cruiser line ever since the day it came out last October. I kind of sold my Crusader just to keep space in my garage, but I have Cromwell, my Comet, and this now still in my garage. So, who knows, I might keep everything all the way up to the tier 10 uh, British Cruiser. British uh, Cruiser line is basically the second I don't know, second uh, tech tree line that I've kept up with, besides the Panther. And even then, I don't own a Panther or a Panther 2. I sold them all off because I need. I just went straight to the next tank in the tier. For the British cruisers, I've kept all the ones that I deemed fun. Which was basically everything from the Krami all the way until now. I will grab the Crusader if I could just get more space. Oh well. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm always late to the party. <sighs> so I decided, hey, let me try and flank him. Unfortunately, T-71 had the same thought. And, yeah, I wasn't gonna make it. I swear I'm not staring at the skin much. Huh. I have damage tracks. Good thing I don't have a damaged engine or else that would suck. That was a cliff. Like, okay. Oh, it's dead. Let's look for the Argy. Oh, there they are. How about this? T71 kills that. Goes after the second Artie. I switch to HE, turn around, and destroy it. Thank Christ I hit something this time. Like, okay. Good thing I wasn't over the airfield like I normally would be, or else I would have been slaughtered by that bat chat. Or, not, I don't think it was a bat chat. Regardless, I would have been slaughtered. Anyways, this is uh, this is Chin slash Lorenzo Ruiz. Here's my battle results. Since I'm not doing a, a recording of my uh, replays, I can do this. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, rather boring replay. I was just showing up the Lynette Bishop Center in Mark 1. And, of course, until next time, see you all later.